So you want to sell your product to Target and get your food product on the shelves, I'm going to give you the seven necessities, the seven things you need to do in order to get your food product into Target. And we're going to get to it right now. All right, so this is Marketing Food Online, and I am getting to a great question from one of our subscribers about how to get his food product into Target stores. And uh, believe it or not, Target is a great company to have a food product sold through. Um, Walmart and Target are one of the top retail uh, brick-and-mortar retailers in regards to selling food. Um, so it's definitely a great question and definitely a great company. I actually worked for Target for nearly a decade before I started my own business. Um, I was with them for quite some time and ran a few of their food departments, actually, uh, bakery and deli and even their Starbucks, as well as several other of their uh, uh, sales floor departments as well. So they are a great company to be with. And if you're looking to get into it, I'm going to give you a handful of, uh, of tips and, and things that you need to follow. And then down in the description, I'll give you a link directly to their supplier page so you can actually go through it as well for yourself and then even um, fill out the application and then try to get your product in there. Um, it is very fierce, of course, competition for getting your food product on the, on the sales floor is not an easy task. I'm definitely not going to say it is, but you can you can definitely do it. They're always looking for new products and new ideas. So let's hop right to it. So there's a few things. There is um, seven particular things. In order for you to become a target supplier, you need to be able to commit to, um, and they are definitely um, uh, something that you can achieve but you've got to be aware of some of the hoops that you got to jump through and some of the regulations and such so they have what's known as targets rules of use and uh, the targets rule of use is actually in regards to <coughs> the rules and use confidentially agreement uh, basically applies to business types and partners as well uh, for any type of business who wants to do business with target so you basically need to be aware of how to supply them, how to follow all the guidelines with labeling and such. Um, and that is a, it's a pretty extensive uh, document. I'm going to put a link down below, but that's the first of the seven. And targets, the next one is targets responsible sourcing programs. So what they actually have are several programs set up to make sure that the your product safety is there, your standards for your vendor agreement. Uh, they have what's known as social compliance, uh, product safety and quality assurance, and sustainability. So once you go through here and read through those, that's going to be the second step, the second bit of information you need to be aware of. Uh, and Target actually has also the third thing is their vendor code of conduct. So in order for you to do business with Target, they want you to follow and abide by a certain set of rules in regards to how you conduct your business with them and how you interact with them as far as a buyer and seller and um, being a vendor for them and, and st staying up to their standards. So you want to double check that vendor code of conduct as well. The next up is the use of e electric funds, electronic funds transfers. This is the EFT. So that's their accounts payable team required for your domestic based vendors. So in order for you to be paid by them, you need to have an EFT uh, capability set up from your company to them. So that way they have the ability to send you obviously the money that you need when they purchase the products from you. Now, the ability to use EDI to receive your purchase orders. Now, if you're not familiar with what EDIs are, <clears throat> excuse me, it's Electronic Data Interchange is what it stands for. Now, that means that you have the ability to link your company to Target uh, for you to receive purchase orders. When you as a vendor are going to supply them, you want to make sure that you can receive those orders uh, electronically. They don't do it like through email or they don't do it through paper, obviously. So understanding what EDI is, and if you don't have it for your business, you need to implement that so that you can get your purchase orders from them. Now, next up, of course, is number six. That's providing a certificate of insurance. So you need to make sure, and I talk about this a lot on my videos, um, any food business, I highly recommend, even if you're not required to have it, you need to have uh, insurance for your food business to protect yourself from, of course, uh, any type of lawsuit or anything of that sort, but you have to actually provide a certificate of insurance for sure if you're going to deal with these stores like Target and Walmart. So keep that in mind, and insurance is something you need to have. That's actually before you approach them. Now, you also have the eligibility for considering drop shipping. 
So having the ability to have an order placed maybe through Target.com and you have the ability to fulfill that order on their behalf to the customer, that is a potential option or feature they may require as well. So drop shipping is something that's, of course, not new at all. But Target.com may show a product online and may someone, a customer place an order. You have the ability to uh, fulfill that order. And of course, a few of the other things you want to think about is before you approach them is that you've got a fully retail ready, shelf ready product. And that's going to include a barcode, nutritional information, your allergen warning, and any other specifications that is required by the uh, FDA in regards to uh, packaging, food packaging laws and guidelines. So make sure that your product has them. You know, if you're making an organic product, make sure you've got the quality organic uh, seal on the product and make sure that you've passed those uh, criteria as well. If you're doing anything that has any health claims, make sure that you're abiding by the FDA in regards to health claims as well. It's because Target wants a done package, a product ready to go. If they like it, they're going to place an order. So if you don't have that in hand, or you're not complete yet with that process, don't approach them. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap it up. This is Those are the seven specific criteria that you want to be really, really aware of. I'll send a link, put a link down below. Click on that. It'll take you right over to this specific page, and that'll give you more information about it. But I hope that answers your question. Uh, the gentleman that asked me in regards to how to get his product into Target. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. And again, if you guys have any questions about your food business or concept, please let me know down below, and we'll get to that as soon as possible.